Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Daily Discussion for the 13th of October 2014. It's nearly patch day, we're very excited! So if you have any ideas for topics, you can leave them in the comments below, or use the links in the description to contact me. My name is Tusky, and today we shall be discussing... The patch. Duh. Okay, let's discuss everything you need to do to prepare yourself for 6.0 tomorrow. So first of all, what on earth is going to happen tomorrow? In case you've been living under a rock, or you know, you just haven't been looking at MMO Champion, which is a f fair way of doing things, I think. If you do not know about it, tomorrow, patch 6.0.2 will hit the live servers. 6.0.2 is basically Warlords of Draenor. Everything. New models, new class design, new talents, and new systems, new file types, new everything, just about. It's basically Warlords of Draenor, and Warlords will be on our computer, we just won't be able to access Draenor. Basically, it's level 90, Mists of Pandaria, for about a month before Warlords of Draenor launches. Now, why are they doing this? One, to eliminate bugs, because although they do have a beta for this kind of thing, and a PTR, it doesn't provide nearly as much information as having every single subscriber playing exactly the same thing and ironing out all the bugs. But don't worry too much about providing feedback like that because they're not actively going to be looking for it. Instead, they're just going to be looking at things like crash reports and they're going to see if there are any classes that are really overperforming or underperforming and they'll make a few tweaks before Warlords of Draenor launches. So that's good. Don't expect many new gameplay changes once 6.0.2 hits tomorrow. As in, don't expect the class to suddenly undergo a massive radical change after tomorrow. But do expect your classes to change tomorrow because things are going to be kind of insane. Every class is going to be changed in some way or another. I know that my favorite classes are going to be changed and you should pretty much be prepared for things to go topsy-turvy because that's just the way it's going to work. What else is going to be available? There will be a new quest line available in the Blasted Lands. I'm not going to talk about it at all. I'm just going to say that there will be a new quest line there for level 90s and I think you'll start it in your main city. So just hang around your main city, so either Orgrimmar or Stormwind and prepare yourself. That's all I'm going to say because that's basically all I know. We're also going to be able to go into the Upper Blackrock Spire, which is going to be a five-man heroic, level 90 tuned, with Warlords of Draenor mechanics in mind. So I'm going to be doing a guide about that tomorrow as soon as I can. I'm going to make it the new Warlords of Draenor style, and it's going to have all kinds of cool art assets, and it's going to be from different points of view, and I've got all that stuff ready, so that's very exciting. What else? What else? What else? Actually, what else? I don't know. Let me look. Additionally, Siege of Orgrimmar is going to change a little bit, just a little bit. Garrosh is going to be giving out heirloom weapons again. Now, these heirloom weapons are level 90 to 100, so they will scale up as you level up in Draenor, which is kind of helpful. They don't provide any kind of experience bonus, they're just very helpful, and they'll probably be eclipsed by the five-man heroic gear or above. So, you're not going to keep them for too long, it's going to be mostly for the leveling process, and they look really nice, so you can use those. Now, when 6.0.2 hits tomorrow, Garrosh is going to be resetting his tables for heirlooms. So, basically, if you haven't got an heirloom off of Garrosh yet, he will 100% drop one for your class and spec when you next defeat him. So I would suggest you do that, and I would suggest you either do it on normal or, if you're lucky enough, heroic. Speaking of normal and heroic, the changes to the raid styles are also being implemented in this patch tomorrow. So that basically means that we will have LFR, is staying as it is, although I think it is also becoming flexible, so you can defeat a boss with 20 people rather than 25, so that's helpful. After that will be normal mode, which is going to be about the same difficulty as flex is right now, and it will be flexible, you can do it with anywhere between 10 and 25 people. And then after that we will have heroic, which is basically what normal mode is right now. That will also be flexible, so essentially it will allow you to, if you're in a 10-man guild now that runs normal mode, you can run it with 12 people, or 13, or 15, or 17, or whatever you want, up to 25, of course. So basically, normal mode is going to be called heroic, that's what it's going to be called, and it will be flexible. Finally, heroic mode will become mythic mode, that's the final most difficult challenging tier, and that will be 20 man only. That's right, a whole new 20 man style. It's going to be 20 people, 100%, you can't go above or below it, otherwise you're just going to hamstring yourself. So it's 20 man, that's going to be the toughest difficulty of raiding, essentially that's going to be heroic raiding. Although heroic is now called normal, and normal just kind of doesn't exist anymore as a term, okay? So we've got LFR, normal, heroic, and and mythic. Those are the new raid difficulty styles. What else? They're going to be implementing some item changes. So reforging, hit, expertise, dodge, and parry are all gone. Huzzah is what I say to that. I'm so glad those stats are gone. There will be a new login screen. I haven't seen it. Excited to see it. There is going to be an auction house change. So the Alliance Horde and the neutral auction houses have all been merged together. So that's cool. It'll but definitely make the auction house a little bit easier to work with. The black market auction house will be moved to Draenor, which kind of sucks because we don't have access to Draenor at the moment, but you know, maybe they'll still be in Mr. Pandaria. We don't know. Justice and Valor are gone. 
That's right, Justice and Valor are completely gone. You can, however, buy most items, not heirlooms though, with gold. Speaking of heirlooms, the vendors for heirlooms are going to go away, at least until Warlords of Draenor. So I would pretty much, if you can, spam some justice and get yourself any heirlooms you're missing out on. So the heirloom vendors for justice points are going to be going away. However, you can also get them, I believe, from the Argent Tournament, from the Dark Moon Fair, and you can still buy the guild-specific ones for gold. That won't change. Speaking of guilds, guild leveling is going away, which I think is a good idea. Guild leveling has never been that interesting. It's always just been, a, oh, are you level 25 as a guild? No, well, then you suck. So that's good. Guild levels are gone, as are most of the perks, which is kind of interesting. So every guild will now offer the same perks, and uh, a few perks will become individual regardless, but a lot of the main ones are still going to remain the same. So the perks that you will gain by joining a guild are increase your mount speed by 10%, which is not active in battlegrounds or arenas, which makes sense. So 10% extra mount speed, that's good. Hearthstone cooldown reduced by 15 minutes, that's good. Increases health gain when resurrected by 50%, and increases movement speed while dead, that's good. Uh, In-game mail sent between guild members arrives instantly, that's also great. Mobile banking, which summons a guild chest, which allows you to gain access to your guild bank, that's staying, that's good. And mass resurrection, that's also staying as a guild perk, so you don't get to mass res if you're not in a guild, so there's that. So that's all good, I think. That's very good. So those are the changes to guilds. What else? The stat squish is also going to be here, so expect your health to be significantly smaller than it is today. And your damage and your healing is all going to go down as well. Now, that's an interesting change, I have to say, and I look forward to seeing what it feels like because I think there's a lot of potential to feel more powerful there. Although it might seem contradictory, lower numbers, how can you feel more powerful? Just give it a go, that's what I say. Give it a go, wait and see. What else? Oh, and by the way, you will still be able to solo old raids, don't worry about that. The stat squish is also going to hit NPCs in the game, so don't worry too much about that. Toy box is going to be here, yay. Reagent bank, good. Void storage, size increase, yay. Group finder, yay. Arena skirmishes, yeah, I have no idea what that means. UI improvements, so the default UI has received several upgrades, including raid and battleground specific graphical settings, yay, that's good. Darker nights, so a few zones will have darker nights. Cool, old world dungeon revamps, so... Black Fathom Deeps, Razorfen Downs, and Razorfen Crawl have all been updated. I have no idea why, but they have, so that's cool. So if you're leveling an alt, it should be a little bit more interesting come 6.0. So that's good. You will now also be able to undelete characters. So characters that are above level 50, you can restore characters that are above level 50 if you've deleted them. So woohoo! The server will also process events a little bit faster, which should make gameplay feel a little bit better. Although, on the first day, expect the servers to be a little bit haywire, so just prepare yourself for that. A few other things have changed that are a bit more technical. There's a new file system, anti aliasing has been changed a little bit, so it essentially, the game will look a bit better. So, there's all that. So that's good, those are the changes bare bones, so those are what you can expect. Now, what can you actually do to prepare yourself for 6.0 tomorrow right now? Well, the first thing you need to do is you need to prepare your computer. So first of all, update all of your add-ons today and tomorrow. Most add-ons will be prepared for 6.0 by now and make sure you get them all updated because an out-of-date add-on can cause a lot, a lot of problems. You would have no idea how many problems can be caused by an out-of-date add-on. I mean, add-ons in general can cause problems, so an out-of-date add-on is even worse. So update your add-ons. I would definitely suggest using the Curse Client for this. I I'll include a link in the description. It's a program that basically locates and checks for updates for all of your add-ons. It's really really good and really convenient, so I would definitely suggest using that. So first of all, update all your add-ons, today and tomorrow, just to be sure. Okay. Second, update and clean your PC. It's really simple. Just clean your PC up to make it faster, because faster your PC is, the faster World of Warcraft is, the better it will play, the more fun you'll have. So first of all, make sure you've installed all of your Windows updates. They're annoying, I know, but it will keep pestering you until you install them, so just install them, get it over with. It might take an hour, it might take two or three, you don't know. Just get it over with, so you don't have to worry about it throttling World of Warcraft and constantly popping up in your face saying, Hey, I'm Windows and I have a new update! So just do it. Uh, make sure you defrag if you're not using a solid state drive. If you don't have one of those, then defrag your computer. If you've got a Windows, just search for disk defragment, hit analyze. If it's more than 10% fragmented, press the defrag button. This will basically clean up the disk, make everything run faster. I mean, it can take a while, but it's really worth it. Kind of a thing you could consider doing overnight, maybe, is just defragging one of your hard drives, maybe the hard drive that runs World of Warcraft. Unless it's an SSD, as I said before, in which case, don't defrag it because it doesn't need defragging ever. So yeah, defrag your computer. As I said before, go to Windows, search for defrag, click on disk defragmenter, select your hard drive, press analyze. Once it's done analyzing, it will tell you how much it's fragmented. If it's above 10% fragmented, then 
select it and press defrag and that will basically move all of the information to different parts of the disc and make it run faster. It's very complicated but it will make it run faster, just trust me. So other than that, make sure you do a sweep with your virus scanner, whatever it is. I use McAfee and I'm going to run a sweep just before I head to bed just to make sure I've got everything sorted out in terms of viruses and trojans and things like that. Also another one to consider using is C Cleaner. It's short for crap cleaner. It essentially removes a lot of excess file space that you don't need. It's very good and quite complicated, but I've included the link in the description and just pressing analyze and then run when you open it up will help you save a lot of space on your PC. So make sure you do that. One final note, make sure you uninstall games that you don't play anymore. Don't keep them around on your PC, don't just leave them there because they're just wasting space. So games that you don't play very often or that you're not going to play for a while, uninstall them. It will save loads of space. So make sure you do that. And also, you know, go to your control panel and uninstall anything that you don't need. Make sure anything that is superfluous, that it doesn't have a place on your PC, that you uninstall it. But make sure you don't uninstall anything critical because then you could be in trouble. So take your time with that. Okay, so you've updated your add-ons and you've cleaned your PC a little bit. Next up, consider maybe reading about your class. Now, MMO Champion has a massive great big front page all about the 6.0 changes and they included a link to IC Veins, which have 6.0.2 guides for all classes and specs. They are very helpful. However, remember that if you disagree with them, you are more than welcome to. Remember, the things are going to change a little bit even between now and Warlords and just play what you have fun with. Just test it out when it comes along and see see what you have to expect a little bit maybe by reading the Icy Vein stuff just to tease yourself. But don't go with it 100%. Experiment, see what you like, see what does the most damage, the most healing, what makes you the most survivable and allows you to control the fight more as a tank. So basically, make sure you experiment, but reading ahead of time never hurts too much unless you want to avoid spoilers on the new abilities, in which case don't read them, okay? Good. And finally, one of the most important things you can do in 6.0 is enter it with an open mind. Things are going to change really, really hard. There are going to be a lot of changes in 6.0. Expect things to be completely upside down and for everything to be topsy-turvy. Everything is going to be completely insane, basically. Siege of Orgrimmar may work, it may not. Your progression is probably going to have stopped at this point, I'm afraid. If you haven't done what you wanted to do in terms of progression by now, then I'm afraid it's pretty much over because you've got to remember that we are going to receive Warlords of Draenor. That's basically what 6.0 is going to be. It's going to be all of the changes, the playstyle, the combat style, for Warlords of Draenor. That will not work in terms of compatibility with Mists of Pandaria. Like I talked about in my tank and healer videos, I'll include links to those in the description as well. Things are going to change really dramatically and that's going to start as of tomorrow. So you've got to be prepared for the fact that things are going to seem completely bonkers and that you're going to have no idea what you're doing. No one's going to have any idea what they're doing. Also as a note, make sure you go to Upper Black Rock Spire and enjoy that. Run it with your guild or with friends if you can because a pug will likely completely combust the first couple of days of 6.0 because you're not going to be able to mass pull. I hope, hopefully, you might be able to, but basically, hopefully you won't be able to mass pull and hopefully you won't be able to, you know, just AOE everything down. You're going to have to think about it, you're going to have to dispel, you're going to have to do mechanics. So, it's new content, so make sure you enjoy it, take your time with it, and do it properly. Don't just completely overrun the mechanics if you can avoid it. So, yes, enter 6.0 with an open mind because things are going to be upside down and completely and utterly insane. It's going to be really, really exciting though, and I am really, really excited to get going with Warlords of Draenor in terms of guides, in terms of content, and in terms of actually playing the bloody thing, finally. I'm so excited for it. I'm also excited for BlizzCon. I've got my virtual ticket ready for that. I'm going to have a good old look at that. Maybe I'll watch the Hearthstone tournament, because I am getting into Hearthstone quite a lot recently. I'm about rank 15. It's been very enjoyable. Also, as a note, I want to talk quickly about the channel. I'm still going to be doing daily discussions up until Warlords releases, and then I'm going to be focusing entirely on making guides and things like that. Expect every now and then a guide to take precedence over the daily discussion between between now and Warlords of Draenor. I know I'm going to work really hard on the Upper Black Rock Spire Guide. I hope to have it out maybe, maybe the same day. Maybe tomorrow I hope to have that guide out. But it will probably be on Wednesday, on the day after, because that just makes more sense. Because I have to get the tanking footage from someone else because I don't have a tank ready quite yet. I don't think my Druid Zentorgi is quite ready for it. Other than that, I have a whole bunch of new art assets going. You can probably see some, I mean, my avatar and the uh, channel banner on the main channel. They're all changed. That's all going to be new stuff. It's going to be quite exciting. I've got new intros, transitions, all kinds of different effects planned. It's going to be fun. It's going to be cool. And I'm excited to get going back into guides because I want to make the best guides. As I've said, as I keep saying, I want to make the best guides for Warlords of Draenor. And that starts 
as of tomorrow. So I'm really damn excited for that. Other than that, the daily discussion will continue. I'm, af I'm afraid I won't be able to finish uh, Wing 4 of the Siege of Orgrimmar with my Druid. I'm not really that concerned about it. I think that guide has served its purpose as showing what to do with the boosted level 90. And really, everything is going to be completely upside down now that Warlords of Draenor has released. So really, the guide is kind of pointless at this point. So just enjoy yourself, have fun, see what it's all about. And I'm going to do the same. And I'm going to get as much content out there as I can. I might include a few live things. I know I'm definitely going to include live runs of Upper Black Rock Spire because I want to have those available for the guide anyway. The whole idea is to say at the beginning of the video, this guide is shot from three different perspectives and it will go between them. But if you'd like to see a whole run from one of the different perspectives, you can click on the links in the description or on screen right now and it will take them to the video, which is just a full clear of Upper Black Rock Spire. And I hope to do that with pretty much every single piece of content that I do in terms of guides. So that should be good. So there we go. That's just about it. That's all I have to talk about. 6.0. It's coming. I'm really, really excited. I have a few cool video ideas to do between now and Warlords of Draenor, and hopefully we can get them all done. And it's going to be really exciting. New models and new things. And oh, goodness me. I'm so excited. So that's going to happen. Yeah. Tomorrow it starts. I hope you're ready. That's it for today's daily discussion. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. Today's piece of music is called... August Celestials 05. Now this piece of music is really calm and serene and it really captures the essence of Pandaria because really we're all thinking about Warlords of Draenor at this point. So I think it might be nice to just take a moment to look back up Mr. Pandaria and consider how bloody awesome it really is. It really is a magnificent expansion and I have enjoyed it a wondrous amount and I hope to make more content about just what this expansion was like in between 6.0 and the release of Warlords of Draenor. So this is a nice little homage to the August Celestials, the four great Pandaren spirits. In case you didn't know, that's Yulon the Jade Serpent, Niu Zhao the Black Ox, Chi Ji, the Red Crane, and Zuen, the White Tiger. Those are the August Celestials, and this music is theirs. So, hopefully you'll enjoy that. As always, if you have suggestions for topics, or you wish to send me your questions to answer on the daily discussion, you can contact me using the links in the description, or you can just leave a comment. Thank you very much for watching, and I wish you the best of luck with your gaming endeavours.